Every person is born with a, an innate drive, an innate desire to meaningfully participate in the world around them. You're unbelievable, Jessica, you're doing so well. Massachusetts, Boston. If you look around anywhere you go in the community, you're going to see somebody with a disability. If you judge a community by how they treat all of their members, then the fact that White Bear has this kind of a setting for people with disabilities, it really says a lot about the community. We are a community, and um, without PAI, we don't have people out in the community. We don't have exposure to one another. We don't have the interaction with people that we may not understand. The biggest thing that we're doing here is we're transforming lives. PAI is um, a service that we uh, work with individuals with developmental disabilities and um, physical disabilities. We have uh, approximately 260 individuals that we serve and we have approximately 102 staff that support those individuals. The core to PAI is providing opportunities for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities to participate meaningfully in life and to be connected to their world. We began in a small uh, building with, I think it was uh, just a little over 50 individuals. We went on to expand. We had slow managed growth over um, a number of years. We have grown to serving close to over 260 people in four facilities now. We work with adults from young adult to adult through senior citizens. And those services span those needs as people change, as ages change and needs change. Our services then float and flex and meet their different levels of need as they progress through life. The newest uh, part of Parkway is the autism program. Autism is a spectrum disorder. It affects your developmental um, abilities, so where you can gain skills, it just um, comes at a different rate. Your development is delayed. Shayla's 28 years old. She just had a birthday. Um, she's very tiny, looks much younger than she is. She's um, got autism and developmental disabilities and a lot of physical disabilities. Anything else that you found fascinating? When we found this place, it was just like a godsend. We work a lot on um, just teaching them skills from the ground level of, okay, eye contact, or when somebody asks you something, you should respond. We work on those skills in really um, like focused ways here in the building, and then we can go out into the community and practice those skills to see how well they translate. I wanted a place where she could grow, not just be parked somewhere for the rest of her life. And this looked like it had everything that we were looking for. It had social interaction, it had activities, it had work skills, it had living skills. Um, it had the opportunity for her to do more than just be helped. She could do things with other people, she could help other people too. I see their ability to continue to grow and contribute and teach um, our society things that we often miss. Since she's been here she's really gained a lot of confidence. She's like little miss social girl. <laughs> The individuals that come to PAI have a broad spectrum of uh, disabilities. And that could range from individuals that have intellectual disabilities, um, mild to severe, individuals that have those higher medical needs. We cater to a variety of clients. I mean, various different diagnoses. I mean, various disabilities. We want them to maximize what they're able to do. Another feature of our Linden Avenue location is that they have an a, a excellent art program. 
Um, and it's been a wonderful way for the individuals at that location to build skills, show talents, um, and create a, a place in community for those individuals. The art program is about them being able to um, use the skills and the abilities that they have um, and then we just give it, we give it wings. They're not individuals that are looking to work, but they are individuals that are looking to and want to contribute um, to community. And uh, they also get paid then for the artwork that they, that they do. Art is about self-expression. So that's primarily what we're about is communication skills. Um, if we're running um, a music therapy, it's about helping them to express themselves through through music. We also have music therapy, pet therapy, so uh, there's a wide array of services that we provide and, and the reason for that being that um, you know we are not one-dimensional. Um, everyone is multi-dimensional and we all have areas of need and areas of talent. Pet therapy was good for the clients, I felt. There were a few when I came in and I would ask them if they wanted to pet the dog and they'd say, no, no dog. And after about two times here, they'd say, nice dog. And they'd pet them and love them up. And uh, the clients reacted very good to him. There's this one gentleman down in one of the rooms that he never really responds. You see major reaction when the dog comes in and goes right to him. And, and then his hand's going to start petting. I mean, that says a lot. This is a different way to communicate. This is a something or someone else that has touched him, kind of like the art. It's another way of, of emoting an, an emotion. The ability to participate in vocational opportunities and vocational activities is based on the individual's needs and wants, and they truly dictate for, for us what they're interested in doing. Work is done, and people are meaningfully employed, uh, but in, a, in an environment that's safe and provides the support services that those individuals may need. In-house, we do a variety of things as well. We do have some document destruction that we do. We have um, cards that are packaged for artists to watch, and those cards are sent out to a major real retailer. We uh, do about 48000 a week uh, for Design House, and these cards go out to Trader Joe's that are located throughout the country. Well, I think about a more than 1000 a day if I have the set up, you know, I do a little cards, a few cards in the morning and a few after lunch. The work opportunities that we have for our clients are um, they work at Target, they work at, at Cub out in the community, um, Payless Shoes, we have some individuals that work at Dynamic Air. So they do a variety of things. It might be from janitorial to um, restocking shelves to uh, testing parts for Dynamic Air. We also do um, hand packaging for a um, for park tool. It was over 20 years ago that we started with PAI, and I think uh, they came to visit us and uh, said, "Is there anything that we can do uh, to help out?" And we started with one product, and now we use them for a huge variety of of help of, of products that they help us with. Here at PAI they uh, test smaller parts that make up the whole part of the system. They test them for leaks and make sure they're performing correctly before we send them out to the final customer. I think it's important that we can do our part to, uh, to provide jobs, to, per to provide work for adults with disabilities. I, I think it's our duty as a part of the community and I think it, it helps a, a lot of people have that feeling of worth. We talk about individualized programming and that's what this is all about. You work with, with an individual in determining what they're interested in, what, they, what they're capable of doing, where we can help them evolve in what they're capable of doing, and then we try to find the job that's right for them. EASE stands for Electronic Archival Scanning Enterprises and it was uh, our way to 
kind of give a, uh, a home and a brand to our digital imaging services. These folks need an opportunity to work just like everybody else and with having this program it gives them that chance to and to work up to their best potential that they possibly could. And we just give people the opportunity to get paychecks. You know, a lot of times they won't have opportunity to get paychecks in the community. And here we, by means of uh, different um, paying standards and stuff like that, we're able to um, get people work and paychecks every two weeks. You know, so they just, you know, feel more independent and get that satisfaction of going to the bank and cashing checks and having extra money to spend. People with disabilities face barriers that n you and I would never understand. Um, and they face them on a daily basis. And those barriers put them in positions in which they become more and more isolated from other people, from the community, from, from participating. Without a place like PAI, a lot of those people would not be able to go out in the community. They wouldn't be able to um, do the things that they do. Since Andrew's come to PAI, watching him change, watching him become more self-assured has made me feel better about uh, his life if I'm not around. We need places like PAI because it helps them to get out of the, their homes and into the community. It helps them to feel a sense of being, a sense of importance and a sense of belonging other than to just being closed in one facility. We're about encouraging participation and independence in every environment. Um, we're, we look to and strive to maximize the opportunities to increase personal growth and development. Um, and we promote health and wellness uh, in order that an individual can have a better quality of life. Here it's about connecting people. Here it's about you know, building friendships and building relationships. Here we can hug a client and it's okay. Here when they say, I love you, Verna, and we can say, I love you too. I mean, here you build relationships.